Hi guys, I don't know if you remember, a while ago I took some little journals uh, that I got from Johnny from Junk Journal Shop and I did a technique called dip dye. There's many people out there who do it and I'm giving credit to all of them. I just don't remember their names, so I apologize, but I'm not the first person to do this. Uh, what I learned was when you have a bin and you fill it up with your coffee or tea and you do this with it, it's okay, but don't leave it too long because what happened was it soaked it up and you see how it soaks up? And this is what I wanted. I just didn't want it to go all the way. So that's one of them. Here's another one that I did. I kind of like that. So I'll probably turn these into little journals. Maybe I'll take the pages apart, make some page packs. Um, this is the other one. Isn't that cool? Then from learning from my mistake, I have this old little book. And this one, I did put in a shallower pan. And I kind of opened it up like this, and every now and then I would fan the pages. So let's see what this one looks like. Ooh, that's nice and yummy and grungy. So here you could tell, depending on, and it's my favorite grid paper, Brooke, from Recreation by Brooke. Look what I did. I took a grid paper book and I coffee dyed it. It's called dip dye. And it's a lot of fun. Oh, that's not remind you of a Rorschach test. So anyway, <laughs> I just wanted to show you the finished results. Um, of course, if it's the summertime or the springtime, it's easy to put these outside, uh, put it on something so it could lay like, you know, like that, and this way the breeze will come and dry it. Or if you leave it out this way, every now and then, you know, take your books, do this, so it'll dry. Otherwise, if you leave it closed outside, it'll dry, but it's gonna take forever for it to get dry in here. So every now and then when you're outside, do this. Um, I don't know about putting a whole book in an oven. I know I can do that with paper. I've never tried a whole book on like, I don't know, what is it, 100 degrees or 200 degrees with the door open and you keep checking it. I'm just not sure about how to do it by a book, but I'm sure somebody out there does know. So if you want, put that in the comments. Everybody would like to know about that. And again, I just wanted to say thanks so much Again, uh, these little booklets, I think, I'm not 100% sure, you can still get from the Junk Journal shop. That's Johnny. I know she has an Etsy store by that name and a YouTube channel. Uh, if not, I'm sure somewhere you could find these little books. Some of them come lined. This one, I actually got at a thrift store and I was very lucky because it's got the grids on it. And I love that but I'm sure you could find these anywhere as well. So this is the results of my dip dyeing technique, which I have learned from many of you on YouTube, and I wanna say thank you very much. Again, just remember when you do these little things, make sure it's a shallow pan. This is a little bit too deep. I use this pan when I do my um, coffee paper dyeing of papers individual papers, eight and a half by 11s and 11 by 14s. Uh, but it's a little too deep for this. Get more of a shallower pan and do it like that and do it like this and just dip them a couple of times and then kind of look in to see how far the coffee dye went in. And when you see where you like it, pick it up, do that with it to shake out excess water and then let it dry. Well, thanks again, everybody for tuning in. If you don't mind, please hit the subscribe button. This way you'll be notified anytime I do a how-to or what I've learned from others. And I occasionally come up with um, some de-stash sales, whether it's linens, doilies, tablecloths. Uh, I do all types of books and magazines. They're vintage. Uh, if you're interested or ever looking for anything in specific, you can contact me at findings by JNM at gmail.com and I can either go in search of or I might even have it in three of the hope chests that I own. Okay, so have a great day. Please like, please comment, please share. And if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my channel so you'll be notified the next time I come on. Thanks again. Have a great day.